tell us about yourself. Well, I'm Amy. I uh, I smile a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it now. Okay, so I got the coffee on my way to go get this uh, this thing that I saw on Facebook Marketplace and turn my laptop well enough to show it to you. It looks like a poster. This. Oh, what? Where was that? On Facebook. It is a the Atticum Last Rites thing. Yeah, like a um, a little altar sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it's pretty like cool. A, I am going into my last year at Trinity for nursing, so I'm doing my RN. And that's so that's year four then? Yep, last year, year four. And is this year practicum? We sort of do practicums throughout the whole time. And then, um, in, so in the first semester we have a surgical placement, and then in the second semester we have like just a practicum, where we work whatever our sort of paired nurse works. And what does this last year look like for you? Well, it's all online, so it's a, it's a little different, I guess. This year's all online for you? Mm-hmm. You don't have any in, in, in face-to-face courses? It's kind of a mixed system where some, like, labs are in person, but the rest are yeah. online or something like that. And are you loving it? Are you loving the nursing program? I love nursing. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, practicum that you've done so far? Oh, um, I did, I really liked maternity, but I have no desire to be a maternity nurse. Okay. I will really like surgical, um, cause I'm doing that in the fall. And I guess I liked medical, like just sort of the catch all medical unit. You know, your grandma has pneumonia. I take care of her, that kind of stuff. Okay. I actually missed my whole feed rotation Sort of because of COVID, we got to do two weeks of it, mm. but the first two weeks, so I went to one orientation shift, like week one, and then the second week, I had just gotten a concussion. I got hit by a rogue volleyball at a volleyball game. Oh my goodness. And I got like whiplash and a concussion. It was quite funny. I was on a date too, and the poor guy's like, what do I do with this? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what you do with this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but that, so then I missed my second day of peds. And then with COVID, they then canceled the rest of our rotation. Like when did you make your faith your own? I think that that probably happened twice for me. Okay. <laughs> I, is what I would probably say. Um, but yeah, I feel like I, I just naturally progressed in my faith as I naturally matured because I grew up in, in sort of a Christian household and um, I was quite involved in my church and in my youth group and in all kinds of devotional groups and Bible studies. And that was kind of my life. And uh, the girls who were part of my devotional group also went to my school. So we all went to public school, but we all were friends and went to school together too. And so it was, I was pretty well immersed in it. When did I make it my own? Um, probably somewhere around age 12-ish, 12 or 13. Like, I don't think there was really a, a pinnacle moment where I was like, I'm choosing this. It was just always sort of this natural progression of, of age, I guess. Kind of like handing off the baton sort of thing. You just sort yeah. of received it and, and ran with it. Yeah. So I guess that would kind of be the first time somewhere around high school ish. And then I came to Trinity in my first year. And then I didn't actually go to CPC until partly through my second year. Um, and I think I just went to one, like one weekday mass or something with Sarah. And I, I, it was either you or Dr. Keeler afterwards asked me because it was the first time I'd ever been to mass like I didn't even know what mass was and he asked me he's like so you're all honesty what did you think and I was like this is what I said I looked him dead in the eye and I was like that was the stupidest thing I've ever done <laughs> that's what I said to him I was like he's like I asked for honesty and I'm like that's me being honest <laughs> and so that, was, that was somewhere partway through my second second year I think yeah, that would have had to have been Dr. K because I would have remembered that. 
<laughs> Great. I think it was I think it was Dr. K. I don't know, six months or so after that, I started just having this desire for truth, just trying to find answers to my questions. And it sort of started with an argument with Sarah, a long, long argument, in which at the end of it all, I just threw up my hands and said, I'm never going to agree with you. Catholic Church is stupid. I'm moving on. And that was that. And then a few weeks later, I went to home for Christmas break without the fall. And uh, I was telling my friends back home who I had grown up with all about how stupid Catholicism was. And they're like, oh, what makes it so dumb? And I'm like, well, they believe this. <laughs> and they Let were me like, tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. And then they're like, they were asking questions like, oh, where does that come from? Why do they believe that? Why do they do it like that? One guy that I worked with when I was 15 and I knew he was Catholic, at least at the time, and so I messaged him, and I was like, hey, like, are you Catholic still? <laughs> and he, yeah. like, Did you fall off the deep end? Or you... <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said. He's like, oh, yeah, I'd love to meet up with you and, and answer all your questions, but I'm leaving for seminary in a few weeks. <laughs> he apparently <laughs> stayed Catholic. <laughs> he was Catholic, this one guy, and so... Um, I asked him if we could meet, and he said, oh, yeah, oh, but by the way, I'm uh, going to Mass on Tuesday. Do you want to come? And little did I know that Tuesday was January 1st. It was actually, like, a significant day in the calendar. Yeah, right. I don't remember what day that is, but <laughs> it's, it's an important one. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Mother of God. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, and so and he took me to, like, a high Latin Mass, like, really intense, and I kneeled on the floor because I didn't know what a kneeler was, so I couldn't see anything, and and there was incense, and like, I saw none of it, I heard some stuff, and afterwards I was like, yep, this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> you and, went from, uh, from stupid, <laughs> stupidest yeah. thing you've ever done to, this is for me. <laughs> it, was about, it was about a month, like, I hate Catholicism, I will never become Catholic in my life, to this is what I must do, I have no other choice. Wow. Like, it was, it was a month, it was crazy. <laughs> Well, Eddie, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Um...